When Russia first invaded Ukraine, the rest of the world felt powerless. That has quickly changed. And people from all over are volunteering their time and their money to help. And this weekend, you can join them. Here's CB Cotton. That's just kind of the street that we lived on. A place. Just so gorgeous how the mountains and the sea meet. And language. Connect these two women. And now, so does the call to help. I have to help my country, and I really try to do that. Tanya Luchak is an exchange student from Ukraine, and Masha Mislovskaya is also Ukrainian but moved to the States when she was three years old. I met Tanya through um, a Ukrainians in Denver Facebook group. And together, they found a way to give back to their home country. As the Russian invasion continues in Ukraine, thousands of miles away in Denver, people can do their part. On Sunday morning, a 5K benefiting the Ukrainian army and Ukrainian nonprofits will be held at Sloan's Lake. So we should be kind to each other and um, help each other in difficult situations. The latest from the United Nations estimates that just over 1,100 Ukrainians have died since the start of the invasion. My great grandmother, who recently passed away this past year, and my grandfather, um, two different sides of the family, but um, they're both Holocaust survivors. And seeing these photos and seeing the atrocities that are happening, everyone who's on social media right now to be able to open up their phones and see those same photos, it should be a shock. It should be a shock that this is happening. War is happening in Ukraine, and these women are connected and their call to help. Every person who is here, who is in a safe country, yeah. should be really grateful for that. CB Cotton, Denver 7. So the race is Sunday, Sloan's Lake Park. Tickets are $35 for adults, 20 for children. And we've posted a link for you with all the information on the denverchannel.com.